Hello everyone, and welcome to my Duel Today official news channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. John's radical choice, Jada's request, Stefan admits, Intel, from Abe. The March 18th week spoilers for Days of Our Lives are here. John Black thinks about giving himself up to the authorities. E.J. Mera learns later that Stefan Mera did, in fact, confess to detectives. Additionally, Jada Hunter begs Harris Michaels. In the meantime, Josh Taylor's Roman Brady receives information from Abe Carver according to DOL spoilers for the week of March 18, John will be horrified to see that Marlena Evans and Steve Johnson are already aware of Constantine Meliuni's allegations. John will come to the conclusion that he must apologize to Constantine. John is also going to prepare to turn himself into the authorities. Steve and Constantine, however, acknowledged that they did not witness John murder the girl. Thus, it's possible that John is not guilty. After finishing with Roman, he will see Abe the week of March 18. Roman will hear from Abe about the angelic visitor and Paulina Price's miracle. Roman will also learn from Abe how he regained his memories. Paulina develops a friendship with Kate Roberts Brady in the interim according to spoilers for the upcoming week of March 18, EJ informs Stefan that he is implementing the plan. Ava discovers that Stefan was the shooter after having an intimate relationship with Harris. In the interim, EJ looks for Stefan. Unbeknownst to EJ, a tipsy and inebriated Stefan crosses paths with Chad DiMera. Later, when EJ finds out that Stefan handed himself into the police, he is devastated. Harris will also let Ava know that there might be a problem with Stefan's arrangement. A disagreement breaks out between Eric and Sloane about Jude Brady's baptism. Eric will also continue to believe Holly is not telling the whole truth about the drugs. Jada implores Harris not to let Ava ruin his career. Xander Cook is also freed on bond. Xander and Sarah Horton miss Victoria Cook as they spend some time alone together. Then there's the impending honeymoon of Johnny D. Mara and Chanel Dupree. Teresa Donovan is reminded of their agreement by Constantine in another place. What plot point do you most anticipate seeing during the week of March 18, 2024? Post your ideas in the space provided for comments below. Don't forget to keep watching Peacock Soap Opera to see what happens next. Jackie Harry leaks information about Abe's cheating and her fire. Days of Our Lives spoilers hint that Paulina Price's health just took a turn for the worse, worrying fans. Suddenly, while she was in the hospital, the physicians suspected that she would require a heart transplant. But then there was a miracle with soap. See how Harry first responded to this storyline and her worries about losing the peacock sudzer by continuing to read. Harry said to S.O.D., I thought I was being fired, after she had read the screenplay. Despite this, sale mites routinely survive all kinds of crazy situations and even come back from the dead. Harry reasoned that the plot's length could have been explained by the fact that it developed during the writer's strike. However, Harry became so concerned that she asked executives, what the heck is going on? It was then that she discovered Paulina was staying put, which is wonderful news for her followers as well. The actors questioned whether Paulina's partner, James Reynolds's amnesiac Abe Carver, would cheat on her while she was ill. That didn't happen, and in actuality, the couple's life has never been better regaining their focus, Paulina Price and Abe Carver. Angel Lexi Carver, Jennifer K. Lee, who was married to Abe prior to her passing, provided assistance to the pair. Despite her desire for Abe to be happy with Paulina, her love for Abe has never faded. In doing so, she worked two miracles. First of all, Abe received his memories and Paulina's heart healed right away. Oh. During the week of March 18th to 22nd, when Abe moves back in with Paulina and they celebrate the homecoming event, fans may anticipate some endearing scenes. Abe Carver and Paulina excellent once more. The happy news was slightly dampened by Eli Grant and Lonnie Price's decision to leave Salem once more. Although Lonnie's prison sentence was reduced, she, Eli, and their twins must now move because Eli has received a new employment offer. Nevertheless, despite everything they've been through, 
it's good to see Honest Abe and Feisty Paulina in this scenario with a little enjoyment. A preview for this week's Days of Our Lives episode suggests that Johnny D. Mara will visit the Salem Inn and inform Chanel D. Mara of something they haven't done together as husband and wife. When Chanel and Johnny are finally able to purchase a suite, they will be able to consummate their new union by getting all dolled up. In the interim, Xander Cook will get some amazing news, before being freed on bond. Xander's freedom may not continue forever, and Sarah Horton may tell him to enjoy their time together for the time being. Xander will rekindle his intense affection for Sarah, and they will both decide that this night is theirs. But after things settle down a bit, Xander and Sarah will both realize how much they miss Victoria Horton Cook, so they may turn this into a family night. Previews for other days indicate that Nicole DiMera will not be permitted to go to Jude Brady's baptism. Nicole is going to be surprised because she had not planned on hosting the event. As soon as he learns more, Eric Brady will voice his objections, he pushed back the christening so that Nicole and Holly Jonas could be present. Daisy's teases suggest that, given Sloane's lack of victory in this conflict, Eric may intervene and insist that Sloane forget her grudge. Since Sloane abducted Nicole's son, fans of DOOL are aware of this, therefore it makes reasonable that Nicole would want to keep her at a distance. John Black will be enraged with Steve Johnson, Stephen Nichols, for deceiving him, and he will display the Katharina photo that Constantine Meliunis gave him to Marlena Evans. Day's teasers state that there will be more significant drama at Ava Vitali's apartment when Harris Michaels informs her that Stefan DiMera shot him twice. Stefan will take advantage of this to tell Harris that they gave in to temptation when they were drunk, his way of exacting revenge on Ava for betraying him. You idiot! Ava slaps Stefan in the weekly DOL preview video and yells. Days of Our Lives teases indicate that Ava will have plenty of reasons to be angry with Stefan and that she will also have to defend herself to Harris. Days of Our Lives spoilers for Friday, March 15 state that John Black was unable to recognize Katharina when Constantine Meliunis offered him a picture of her. Constantine informed John about how the pawn came to see him carrying a message from Victor Kiriakis and then thrashed him until he passed out. When Constantine awoke, John was there with the gun, and Katharina had been mortally wounded. John admitted that he had always had a feeling, but he was upset and couldn't remember the encounter. Constantine hoped that John's whole existence was filled with emotion, making it very clear that John would pay a price for what he had done. In Friday's episode of Days, Steve Johnson told Marlena Evans the same story from his point of view in the townhouse. John didn't inform Steve that he'd heard him chatting about Katharina until he got home. After that, John confronted Steve about his secret and the fact that, as a result, he had disclosed it to Marlena before him. On Friday's DOL program, Holly Jones stood up for Tate Black at the D. Mara residence, claiming that E.J. D. Mara had been too harsh in putting him in jail. Nicole D. Mara thought that decisions had consequences, even though she accepted that E.J. might be exaggerating. Holly begged E.J. not to lock Tate up, and he agreed to at least investigate Tate's options. Nicole questioned Holly's certainty that Tate wasn't guilty while they were alone on New Year's Eve. Nicole asked if Holly was speaking for Tate, but Holly insisted she was positive he would never give her drugs.